Bro, I got something to say to you. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Kate Turnipseed and welcome to my channel. Yes, this is my first ever video, so be gentle. Yes, I'm a little freaked out, so be gentle. I'm just gonna go for it. You never know what's gonna happen in this life and you definitely won't know unless you go for it. So I'm here today to talk about some products in the Ulta Beauty collections. The store itself is my mecca. It's my candy land. You can get drugstore products. You can get high-end products. It's just like the land of you can get everything that you need to be stunningly beautiful. And so for that, Ulta is one of my favorite stores. But what about their makeup? I have no idea because I've never paid attention and I don't know why. So today I went to the store and I was looking around and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe that's why. They don't really have any packaging that draws me in, which sucks. It, product shouldn't be about the packaging, but sometimes it is. Sometimes that really gets us. There weren't any like eyeshadow palettes where I was like, oh my God, duh. Yeah, maybe it's the visual representation that's lacking. So I'm like, I have to look deeper. Okay, what else do they have? Well, I spotted that they have makeup with beneficial skincare ingredients in there. And I'm like, a woman like me needs some skincare all day, all day. And so that's what I grabbed. I grabbed some concealer as a foundation and a couple other products. And then I got a free gift. So I was able to try even more of the products. And that's what we're gonna check out today. So let's get into it. All right, my skin is clean and prepped and ready to go on this Ulta Beauty Collection adventure. I'm gonna start with their moisturizing primer spray. I was drawn in because this has hyaluronic acid in it. We know that hyaluronic acid is all of the rage. It's like the more you can put on your face, the better because it helps seals in moisture and moisturizers that you put on your face. Now, what does WebMD have to say about it? Possibly effective for aging skin. In fact, hyaluronic acid has been promoted as the fountain of youth. Oh, I love it. However, there's no evidence to support the claim that taking it by mouth or applying it to skin can prevent changes associated with aging. What are we all doing here then? Okay, well, since WebMD has crushed all of my dreams, let's continue on the Ulta Beauty Collection journey. The Moisturizing Primer Spray. They boast three ingredients in here. It has the hyaluronic acid, cucumber extract, which is rich in vitamins and minerals to help soothe the skin, and green tea to provide a rich dose of antioxidants. Another thing dermatologists rave about. Would I just use only this and then put makeup on? Probably not. Can't hurt, right? So let me go ahead and pull my hair back so I don't get it all funky and wet. And let's see if it feels moisturizing. And let's see if it stinks, because I hate things that stink. Let me test it. Oh, okay. That's a nice little mist, so. No strong scent. Does it feel moisturizing? No. I don't think this is one of those products that you'll actually see the benefit from. Okay, it's $10. I mean, it feels like I spent $10 to spray water on my face. But we're gonna pretend all that stuff is beneficial for my face. Next on the menu is the Brightening Primer. It claims that it has light reflecting technology. I'll be the judge of that. Light reflecting technology formula helps brighten complexion, vitamin C and E to moisturize and smooth the skin, I'll take it, and creates the perfect base to help extend the wear of our makeup. Well, let's hope so, because I work long ass days. Putting some on the back of my hand here. It is pink and fluidy. It smells citrusy. Let's give it a whirl. Put it, especially my dry spots, which is around my mouth and chin. We'll just smear it all over our face and hope that it's gonna maintain our painted glory all the live long day. A little bit goes a long way. Don't get it close to your eyes, cause you feel it. You're, if you're sensitive and you have sensitive eyes, they will begin to water immediately. It's not greasy, which is good. Slight syrup smells freaking me out. I think it feels moisturizing. There is a little bit of a, a tingling sensation. I feel like I look moisturized, so maybe those first two things are making my life awesome right now. I don't know, who knows? Okay, I've got the full coverage liquid concealer. It claims to be waterproof. 
The Ulta website claims that this full coverage concealer is lightweight, they claim it's creamy, and super blendable. It contains special ingredients known to promote healing, concealing imperfections, and evening skin tone. Our formula wears beautifully, doesn't cake or crease, and offers long-lasting wear. I've heard so many people say that to me, and then I spend my money, and it looks like shit on my face. So we're gonna hope that this is different. Let's give that a little whirl. Tap on there. And then I'm gonna use a little concealer brush to blend that out. I don't feel like in one setting it's full coverage, but it does feel lightweight. Cause I got stuff there. Oh, this is a dry patch. Let's see how it does there. My redness, my redness in this dry area. And I'm gonna use a flower beauty sponge for this because I feel like it does a little more airbrush finish. So now let me try it under one of my eyes. And yes, I do this before foundation. It doesn't mean I won't do more after foundation, but I just want everything to kind of blend together as best as it can. So let's move on to the other concealer that I wanted to try. Ulta's light to medium coverage youthful glow concealer works to blur and conceal imperfections. The creamy and smooth formula contains soft focus powders and gold particles to help create an ultra luminous finish. Vitamin E acts as a skin conditioning antioxidant. Hyaluronic acid works to moisturize and hydrate the skin, leaving it smooth and plump. Jelly silicone oils lend to a creamy texture and comfortable wear. So since I went the more high coverage concealer on this side of my face, I'm gonna use the Youthful Glow on this side. Well, let's start with the dry spots. So I'm gonna tap with my fingers. I feel like that didn't cover that spot at all. That was way too much for that area there. So I'm gonna use my sponge to dab a little. I feel like this one, the luminate, the youthful glow did a little bit better on that dry area right there. And under the eye, let's see how this works. I don't know that my finger is ever really my favorite way to put on makeup. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I feel like it bounces the light a little bit better than the other side. They look basically the same color. I got Fair Cool. The foundation also Fair Cool. There's a point for Ulta there because I really enjoy that they've kept their concealer lines and their foundation lines consistent in their naming. And they they do it by undertone which is also really great. And so it made the selection a lot easier. So these concealers, they both run for nine dollars in the world of makeup we all know it's expensive so nine dollars for a concealer that might have skincare ingredients in it not bad moving on to the youthful glow foundation serum drops in theory it sounds great anything that might enrich my skin and bring me back and turn back the clock i'm really hopeful for this product it claims that it is light as air fluid texture buildable coverage luminous finish and blurring effect i want it all so here is the packaging it's a plastic package it's a dropper and again you know that's probably why I'm not drawn to the Ulta stuff. I mean, I know it shouldn't be about the packaging, but for a lot of us, it is. We're just drawn to that cute packaging. And this isn't it. This looks like grandma town. And like for those of us trying to feel younger, this isn't helping. It's got a dropper applicator because I think they want you to drop it directly on your brush. Ulta claims that this creates a naturally perfected complexion. Marine botanicals, skin loving algae promote a youthful appearance. Coconut based emollients help hydrate and replenish the skin moisture. And optical diffusers blur the skin imperfections for flawless appearance. Yes to all of that, I hope it works. And we'll put a couple drops directly onto our brush. No? Okay, here we go. Ooh. It said start in the center of the face and work our way out, but I feel like everyone has this problem. My nose doesn't really react well to most foundations. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the reddest areas of my face and the parts that I need to cover the most, start there and work my way out. Now it said sweep and this is very light. So I'm hoping this blends out. I gotta say that it feels light on the skin, but good lord, this is not the same color as the 
concealers. This is so light. It's freaking me out. No, no, no. I'm gonna blend this out. I don't really feel it's luminance. It looks kind of powdery. I don't know. I'll keep saying I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's sinking into my pores in a way that I can see my pores, which is never what you want. Yeah, my dry patches are showing themselves a little bit more. Ooh, and this isn't normally dry, but I'm seeing some dry. Not sticky in any way, but I'm just not, it's not making me want to take my top off. Let's zoom in. Oh. Do I have a youthful glow? I feel like I look old. I mean, yeah, I feel like you can just see texture in there. Um, okay, so let me just keep going with what I would normally do. I'm going to put the full coverage concealer back under this eye and the youthful glow concealer under this eye. Um, cause I need extra coverage under there cause I got my old lady bags. Okay, it's brighter. It looks dry as I'll get out. Let's see if I can't add a little more luminousness to this. I'm gonna do this. Maybe that'll give me a more dewy, less chalky look. Cause that, the serum drops look a little chalky. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just add it to the other side of my face now. Cause I do think it is adding some luminosity that the serum drops are not. I am serumed and concealed. So I feel like all of this is settling into the old lady parts of my face. I'm hoping that a setting powder is gonna help this out. I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Finishing Powder in Translucent. Just tap it in, give it a tap, tap, tappy. I feel like that didn't like supersonically smooth anything out, but it does look better. I feel like this seems to play together okay. I do have wrinkles, I have to accept that. I can see them, I can see them on camera, I can see them in real life. I look really pale, so yeah. So what I would do next is bronze. I kinda have this thing with bronzer. It's not a sexy product to me. I do wanna use it to contour my face. But there's only really been one that I've liked. It's my butter bronzer. I totally hit pan on it. It's tried and true. Yeah, I'm not loving the texture of my face. I've had a better time with other products in my life, especially like e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. I mean, technically that is a skin benefit. It's fighting acne. And I feel like that looks a lot more juicy on my skin than this. Okay, the next thing I picked up was a blush. It's the mineral blush in the shade Tiger Lily. Now I wasn't particularly drawn to any of the blushes, but again, um, if there's good skincare benefits in it, why not? When I touched and felt it and swatched it in the store, it reminded me a little bit of the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. And like, I love this blush so much. Let's see how it swatches. Swatch it right on my hand here. Okay. So, I mean, there's definitely a good amount of color payoff there. Tap, 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 right there a little much when you do the fingers. I look like I have a sunburn. Against my better judgment. Clown cheek moment. <laughs> a little tap into the old powder. Swirl that around to tone it down a little notchy notch. Now I'm just gonna use one of my very delicate blush brushes. I got this in a subscription box. I got it in my BoxyCharm. This is the Luxie 640. Tap, 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 tap. And I'll click it off. Let's see if a delicate hand does the trick here. I do feel like this is very similar to the Buxom Wonderlust. The only thing is, even though you swatch it and it kind of has a sheen, I feel like the sheen goes away a little bit when you put it on your cheek. Okay, at this stage of the game, I don't have my eyes done yet. Powdered blush, bronzer, all that stuff. And I just, I'm not living my best, y'all. I look old. There's no youthful glow here. And that could be because I used the matte powder. So what I'm gonna try is going back to the very beginning and I'm gonna try the moisturizing primer spray. It's not a setting spray, but you know what? Let's just refresh. You know, spraying it down definitely made me look less powdered. I don't look younger. I don't look glowy. Okay. This is probably great for someone. I have dry skin, I have aging skin, so not great for me. But um, we're not done, we're not done. We're still giving Ulta Beauty Collection a chance. In fact, when I walked into the store, I didn't even realize that if you spent 19.50 on Ulta Beauty products, you got a free gift, which comes with so much stuff. 
obviously everyone wants to save money and it's actually a sweet little free gift if you ask me and before I tap into any of those I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes using the uh, eyeshadow creams that I purchased the matte cream eyeshadow in game over and the glitter cream in to the max so for the matte cream eyeshadow I'm gonna use it all over my lid tap it on the old eyeball kind of all over and see how that blends out oh it's nice it's a very pinky nude color for me it's just like a kiss of color I'm gonna run that under my eye as well I think it looks smoother with a brush I feel like it's just a nice wash of color they did have a lot bolder color options so if you're somebody that likes cream eyeshadows definitely check this one out I think this is great and it's only eight dollars and fifty cents before I tap into the glitter eyeshadow I feel like it needs a little something something I, I've definitely got hooded eyes and they're getting a little more hooded the older I get so let's add a little shadow in there see if we can't push them back a weens I am gonna use that palette that came with the free gift so I'm gonna add a little bit of this mocha shade and I use like a thinner brush because I don't want it to get out of control and this is like an angled brush that you probably it's probably better used as like a pencil brush under the eye but I'm giving it a whirl and okay so going on to this matte cream it's a little patchy it's not like a lamb pigment or anything but I think it's doing what I need it to do just adding a little bit of depth into that crease so they don't look so flappy oh god flappy so now I'm just gonna blend out with the brush that I used to put on the matte cream all right I'm gonna use a little tiny liner brush and I'm gonna use that to run the color along my lash line let us now add the glitter let's see if that can give us a little pizzazz right on that inner corner in the first half of the lid mm. Ooh. all right it's coming out a little chunky all right I'm gonna smush it right on my lid okay it's definitely thick and got glitter chunks in there uh, you know it's just living that chunky life and I swatched it in the store and really liked it but it's not going on my eyes the same way I mean this is like a whatever everyday look but maybe that's the choices I've made. Now I'll try the other color that comes in the palette and it's called Frosted. In certain angles, it's definitely got a pink shift. We'll see if that can't brighten up my inner corners. Not so much, just making them look really dry. Okay, I don't like it. Maybe it works okay as like a face highlighter. Dip right in there. God, all this stuff looks just dry. I look so dry. This is not my normal look at all. So what else is in the bag? The highlighting stick in Pixie Dust. Yee, I feel like it's taking my makeup off. Tap, tap, tap on the nose. Okay, well in real life in my mirror, like I don't really love the way my face looks. I like the way the highlighter looks, but my face just still looks dry from everything. Um, but then again, the serum foundation drops did kind of look like chalk when I put it on my face. All right, what else? Mascara. The one that I bought was probably the more gimmicky one called Twisted Volume Maximum Performance Mascara. It has this wand where you can select if you want to go curly or straight. Let's try setting number one at first, which is just straight for lengthening. Wow, I feel like there is definitely lengthening going on. And it's kind of that drier mascara so it's easy to put on your bottom lashes and it doesn't get all over your face. I like that. I am satisfied with those lashes. I'm gonna try full twist to setting number four. We'll see what that does. I feel like the twisted is more chunky on the top lashes. What if I just take setting number one and yeah and I feel like sure I could use this it is $10.50, so a pretty normal price for a drugstore mascara. It's just really all a matter of like, does it crumble and leave little black freckles all over your face? 
that is the question that I'm gonna find out. So the last thing I have to try are lip products and those came with the free gift that I got at Ulta. I have a Pat and Shine liquid lipstick or I have this full size lip crayon. All right, I'll try that. Lip crayon and festival. Okay. This feels, this feels hydrating. It doesn't feel dry at all. Yeah, I like this. It's very comfortable. It makes me wanna, again, free gift. I'm not upset about getting this for free at all. Like, could I go to the office like this? I could. I don't wanna. Final thoughts. Overall, affordable, but not exciting. I need Ulta to do a little something to make me more excited about their products. Cause just saying that their skincare benefits didn't do it. I bought nine products. For the winners, I'm going to say it is the Youthful Glow Concealer. The fact that their skincare benefits in this concealer is a plus for me. I definitely like the Mineral Blush. And the other winner for me was the Matte Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Game Over. The three honorable mentions I have, I'll say is the Moisturizing Primer Spray, only because I don't actually know if it's doing anything. It has the hyaluronic acid in it, which is great. And I feel like you can use it as a, like a makeup refresher. The other one was the Brightening Face Primer. It was a moisturizing primer. I don't know how much it brightened my skin, but I feel like I have plenty of primers and for 18 bucks, this did not knocketh my socks off. Other honorable mention will be the mascara. The whole twist thing with the curl, I'll have to give that a whirl one more time because I feel like it just made the mascara chunky when I tried to go into full on setting number four. And then the losers for me, glitter cream eyeshadow. It's chunky, it's just, it's not like a bam, like the Stila ones. The full coverage concealer, I just didn't actually feel that full coverage and so for that reason I'm gonna say it's a miss for me. And the final one that was not a win for me is the Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. Like I wanna love it because there's skincare ingredients in here, it just looked chalky. So I think my three returns are these guys, sorry. Ulta, while your makeup might be a little hit or miss, your store, I love it. All right, that completes my first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited that I finally sat down and filmed one of my own. I've been watching beauty videos for about two years now and I've always wanted to jump in there. I'm so excited to be joining this community in an active way and I hope you'll subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.